Hi folks, it's cut test time once again. Today we're looking at 5160, which is a mid-carbon steel. This is being worn by the Ontario Bushcraft Field Knife. Uh, and it's a um, pretty tough um, sort of yeah, mid middle carbon, so not as high carbon as say your 1095 or your 3V. Um, still, you know, a good outdoor use still, quite tough and uh, takes an edge very well, that's for sure. It's very easy to re-edge, but um, Again, I've gone and put a workshop kitchen knife guide edge on this and we'll see how that does against rope. Same rope as in the, all the other cut tests. Massive amount of cut tests in this playlist that this is a part of. So check them out if you want to see the proof of the others. Otherwise, wait till the end to see the rolling scroll of how everything did. So we'll be cutting the sea style rope and we'll be cutting until it no longer effortlessly glides through paper, which I'll do before I start rolling the test. Stand by. So there we go, 59 passes out of uh, this spring steel. You know, th this is a steel that was probably never particularly intended for being used in the cutlery industry. It's, um, you know, it's for springs. It's a sprung steel for generally, I'd, I'd imagine, construction purposes, automotive, that sort of stuff, um, and older purposes than that even. So, I mean, that's just fine for cutting rope with an outdoor knife, 59 passes. Obviously nowhere near what the 3V would do, which was, I think, about 198. Um, which is also an outdoor sort of steel, but this is a very tough steel, so you definitely trade that toughness for edge retention. So, um, But really, even in terms of normal use, uh, this is nasty stuff, and cutting that over and over again is hard on any edge. So it did about as well as the lower end stainlesses, but it'd be a lot tougher than that. So probably still a good outdoor steel, but there's probably a good reason I don't put this in pocket knives. Cool, uh, thanks very much for watching, dudes. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.